Hey y'all, welcome back. So, I originally had plans with my daughter today, but that got postponed. We basically did everything yesterday, so um, we're just gonna go tomorrow to the party. And I do have to go out. We did forget one thing that I've gotta go out and pick up for her. James wants to do something a little bit, but he don't know what, so while he continues to kind of wake up, I'm gonna run out and get what I need to get for my daughter. And do I need to say it? Do I need to tell y'all? Do I need to tell you? Three guesses where I'm going. Anyway, just to kind of get out of the house. So, um, we'll see. Um, y'all, thank you so much. When I bought that little bag at the thrift store and I was showing y'all everything that was in it last night and I had that one little piece, I was like, I don't know what this is for. I think it's missing a piece. You know, I will probably won't use it. There's no use in me donating it back because it won't work, blah, blah, blah. Y'all remember all that? Anyway, after I posted that video and scheduled and everything, I said to myself, they are gonna tell me what to do with that piece. They are gonna have some of the best ideas. They're gonna tell me, you know, what it's for. I said, I'm gonna hold on to that because I know they're gonna tell me how I can use that piece or what I can do with it. And y'all did not disappoint. Y'all did not disappoint. Y'all told me it hangs on the wall, duh. <sighs> I mean, after y'all said that, I could see it, duh. Um, that y'all told me it wasn't broken. Y'all got some like it, anyway. I'm telling you, I, I was right. So thank y'all so much for helping me out, for setting me straight. I knew y'all would. And um, so, I'm, you know, I held on to it, so I still have it. And then last night after I posted that video, I was piddling around the house. Y'all know I'm just kinda like all over the place. I showed y'all that the other day in my cleaning. You know, when the idea hits, I have to do it, you know, so true to form I got to thinking my little black tray that I bought where I pictured it where I'm sorry not where where I pictured it you couldn't see it and so then I tried it on the you know doing it against my backsplash which it looked okay you could see it then but it just kind of was like it just didn't flow you know what I'm saying so I was like man I really love this little tray but it just goes to show where you have an idea and how you think something's gonna look. It doesn't always work out, but I wanna use that tray because I loved it. So I got out some Barkeeper's Friend and I went on the back of it and tried to see if I could like lighten it up a little bit. I didn't wanna take off, you know, the old goodness of it, but I did wonder if I could lighten it up a little bit where it would show against the black you know, would that work? Well, sure enough, it started lightening up really well. So then I flipped it over and I lightened it up on the front. And I'm gonna show you all this when I get home. And it still looks old and grungy and just mwah, perfect, but you can kind of see it now. So I put it on my bookcases in the living room and it is just that little element of when you're looking at it and you just kind of, it don't like stand out in your face, but when you see it, you're like, ah, oh, you know, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm going to show y'all that. And then the little brass uh, candle holders that I said I could take the pointy thing off and it'd be great for risers. I had two places that I used those as risers and I didn't have to take off the little pointy thing because I'm I was like fooling with it and I'm like, I don't know if I can get that off or not. Probably James could, but I was like, let me play with it. So I'm gonna show y'all where I put those. And let me see, was that all I got? The bells I did put up for Christmas because um, I really don't have, doesn't. I cannot even talk this morning, y'all. Like, really, Donna? I really don't have the place for it right now, but Again, I had a brainstorm last night and I'm really thinking about going to Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna check when the hooks and stuff are on sale and getting some old looking hooks 
and putting them on my little black shelf I have in the dining room that I painted black that I have all that stuff on. Not the one James made me, but the other one. I was gonna get gas there, but it's extremely high, so I'm gonna try a different place. Anyway, um, and I think I'm gonna put a couple of hooks on that little shelf, and if I do that, I might can hang my little bells from that. Or, you know, even my little iron stone pitcher. Um, you know, there's just so many things I could do with some little hooks on that shelf. So, I don't know if they're on sale this week. I'm gonna check. Dude, I gotta get over. I'm gonna check and see if they're on sale. And if they are, I may go buy me a couple of hooks from Hobby Lobby. Or I might find some at the thrift store. You just never know. But I just think that would be so cute and just give me more options and because that wall is so vast it will kind of take up some space too so that's just where my mind's been and I'm just just think about stuff all the time and how I can change stuff and critique stuff and move stuff around and anyway so I'll show y'all all that when I get home um, I really loved everything I got in that little bag and even more now, I love the other piece that I didn't know what to do with because of y'all. So, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but y'all know I still haven't got in my guest room and decorated it yet. So, that's a possibility. You know, possibilities are endless. Um, the little brass candle holder with the bird, I did kind of move it a little bit. It was too jammed up in the greenery and all that. You really couldn't see it. So, I did kind of move that out. I'll show y'all that. I don't have any candles for it. So, I need to kind of look at candles. Um, but I think they're fine without candles if you want to. I mean, it's just whatever you like, you know. I still don't have any in the brass candle holder by my front door because the candles I had were too small in diameter. So, I need some fatter ones. So, anyway, I was just playing last night and using all my stuff. So, I was, like, really glad that everything was usable, that, um, it all worked out. And even my little picture, I was able to use it, and it looked so much better on the that shelf that James made me where I had it, and I put the other little jar that I originally had there, I put it in my laundry room, which goes perfect in there. So, it all worked out, so I'm happy. So, now on to running a few errands. I'm going to pop in a couple of thrift stores, and if today is a lucky day and I score, then I will let y'all know. I do have to tell y'all. I am so tempted. That one little thrift store that we, well, it's not even a thrift, I don't know what you call that store. It's like they just dump stuff in it. But anyway, the one that me and my daughter went to that I bought my ironstone picture, they had a Windsor styled antique rocker in there for $65. I almost bought it yesterday, but we didn't, it wouldn't fit in my daughter's car, and then I was like, I'm just gonna not worry about it. But y'all cannot quit thinking about that. I want to get it and put it in my hallway. It's absolutely beautiful. I would do nothing to it, and it's rustic, antique. Every, I even said in it, it's sturdy. Uh, it rocks kind of wobbly a little bit, but it's sturdy. Um, and I come home, and I told James about it, and I was like, can I buy that chair? And he was like, yes. And I'm like, seriously? So, I have his permission <laughs> and his blessing. Um, and I even thought about going in there and offering them a lot lower for it, you know, to see if we could haggle and I could even come, get them to come down off of that price. I don't know. I just don't know. I want it so bad. But, I don't know. Are y'all like that? Do y'all think $65 is a good price for that? For, an, for a Windsor style, has the arms, rocking chair. And I looked on Etsy. I looked on eBay. And I looked on Marketplace. And they go from anywhere from $100 on up. So, I even think if I, if they would not come down off the price, even $65 would be a good price. But, I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm going to think about it for the weekend. And, 
And if I can't get it out of my head and off of my mind, I'm probably gonna go buy it. But I'm just gonna like, I don't think it'll go anywhere. And if it does go anywhere, then it wasn't meant to be anyway. But y'all have to let me know your thoughts in below. I wish I had a picture of it so I could show y'all. But it's kind of a black, it was originally like black and it's you know worn and distressed and original i'm most sure it's just perfect i just love it and i could just see it sitting in my hallway by my little antique cabinet with a beautiful i have a crocheted pillow that i have in my bedroom that i could put in the chair and even like put a little throw over it or something i just i can just picture it all in my head y'all i can just picture it and i want it so bad <laughs> So, anyway, we'll see. We will see. So, I'm going to quit jabbering so I don't take up all the time talking. And hopefully, I have a good thrift day. And I can have some goodies to share with y'all. We will see. We will see. All right, y'all. I am going home. I am just not feeling thrifting today. I know. I thought I was, but I got in the store and I just realized, eh, I'm just not feeling it today. I know, do I have fever? <laughs> um, so I decided I'm just gonna go home, see what James wants to do. He said something before I left about he wanted to do something, but he didn't say what, so I'm hoping he wants to start on that wall. We will see. He's come up with an idea how we can make it work. Um, I don't know if that's what he wants to do today or not. It's just, it's turned out to be a really cold, damp day. I'm totally not dressed for it, so I'm gonna go home and put a hoodie on. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I got in the thrift store, I'm just not feeling it, and I've decided I'm just gonna not force it, you know? So that's the beauty of life. You can change your mind and do different things. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, I'm trying to find a Dollar Tree. I went by one and they had a sign up that says they were closed until further notice. So I don't know what's going on there. So I've got to find another Dollar Tree and um, to pick up what my daughter needs. And then I'm just gonna head home and see what James wants to do. Um, and when I, at some point I'm gonna show y'all um, the decor I was talking about that I did. I'm gonna show y'all that. But yeah, I'm just, I just cannot believe that I'm not in the mood to thrift and I thought I was, but you just get there and it just, I don't know, it's just weird. But anyway, <laughs> it's a new one for me. <laughs> it's new for me not to want to do that. But I just realized as I was in the store looking that just wasn't in it today. So, yeah. So, I'm just gonna head home. So, I will touch base with y'all in a little bit. James, do you realize how much money I just saved? You didn't save it, Dad. I saved $315. Did you not spend $315? No, I spent $50. Exactly. You spent $50. And I said that was my point all along. But the That's chair money. is worth $365. No. It ain't worth a nickel if nobody wants to buy it. James. Can you be and trust me? Nobody's wanting to buy it. James. What? Can you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. I told you I was happy for you. Can you, like, look happy for me? Of course. Okay, we'll do this it. This is me being happy. This is you, you being happy. For you. Really? Yes. Well, what's the difference in the way you look being happy for me and the way you look not being happy for me? I would be using curse words. <laughs> James, what? is that a smile? No. Are you sure? Positive. Let me see. We need to get you some Botox. No, we do not. So you can't make them mad no, faces. No, we do not. You got your sidekick? 
You have a partner. Y'all, this is my beautiful chair we just bought. Well, I just asked them if they would take 50, and they said yes. And I just got it all cleaned up, put in the hallway, and I love it. It's beautiful. However, it was not free. James. Stay out of this conversation. This is an A and B conversation. See your way out. And I love it. I don't care what James says. So that's an antique piece right there. This is an antique piece here. I have some antique pieces on the bookcase. It's slowly building up my antique collection. Yay! This is, let me take this off so y'all can see the whole thing. This is the chair. And it says on the bottom, there's a little metal thing that says Kaplan or Carpen. I can't remember. I'll put a picture of what it says. Furniture from Chicago, but it rocks fine. I can imagine many babies being rocked in that. I just love it. Okay, so this is the platter that I got. And that is the wedding picture of my great grandparents that's granny's mom and dad and i just thought that was kind of cute to put it behind it and i did lighten it up some but it still keeps all of its beautiful detail and that's how that looks i love that and then up here is one of those little brass candle holders i'm using it as a riser love that and then let me show you the other. this is where i kind of moved this out and separated it so it wasn't like where you could see the bird, basically. And then over here, I have this beautiful little bird that I had bought years ago. I don't even know where I bought it. And I love it. And so I just set it on this beautiful brass riser and it just kind of took it up a notch, no pun intended, elevated it and it just, I love the way it looks. So, and y'all, there's a story behind these little Eiffel Towers. And one, I can't remember which one was, I think it was this one, this little Eiffel Tower. I actually found it under the house of our first little honeymoon cottage. Oh no, I just dropped it. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, I found it under the house. And then I was walking one day in the current neighborhood that we live in and I found this one. And I was like, I think the Lord is trying to tell me James needs to take me to Paris. What y'all think? So, I just put them up here. I just think they're so cute. And how ironic. Both houses, I find an Eiffel Tower. And then this is an old marble I actually found under the house of our first little home that we had together. And I just kind of put it up here. It just has, you know, just a little bit of sentimental there. Well, I'm glad I didn't go and pick up stuff for my daughter that she forgot when I thought I was going to because she has messaged me and thought of other stuff that she's forgotten. So I'm just gonna go get it all at one time. So James and Buster and myself, we just got back from PetSmart. We went and bought Benson's birthday present. <laughs> and um, now I am headed to, I dropped them back off at the house because they didn't want to go hang out with me. So now I'm going to um, go pick up the other stuff that she needs and get back home and I gotta figure out what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. I mean, is that not always the issue? What are you doing for dinner? Yes, it is at my house. I, you know, I really, really, really should meal prep or meal plan, meal plan because I just, but it would be hard on the weekends to do. But anyway, I did put my hoodie on because y'all, it has been cold all day. And so I went and changed shirts and put my hoodie on because when you're out there, that wind's blowing, it is so cold. So anyway, um, that's what I'm doing now. And then it's probably gonna do it. I mean, I don't know what else I have planned not a lot so um, if anything else exciting happens or whatever 
I will pull out the camera and bring y'all along. But it's just been kind of a up in the air kind of day because James said he wanted to do something today, but then he never said what he wanted to do. And so we didn't really end up doing anything except going to get that chair. What do y'all think about that chair? Oh my gosh, I love it. But um, other than that, we haven't really done anything. So it's been a basic Friday. That's an exciting going on. So whew, I'm probably obviously going to get home, edit this video, get it all uploaded and scheduled, and then take me a hot bath and get in the bed and just chill out the rest of the evening. The older I get, the more that is just like the perfect Friday night. Hot bath, cozy pajamas, and either lay on the couch with the fire or go and get in the bed, snuggle up. That's just like, does that not just sound perfect? Or is it just me? <laughs> Tell me you're getting older without telling me you're getting older. But honestly, I don't think that has anything to do with age because my daughter's the same way and she's way younger than I am. So, anyway, I'll talk to y'all in just a little bit. All right, this is going to do it for me in this video. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to show y'all some clips of uh, thrifting that I actually did today and what I got today at the thrift store. I will include that. And then I will try to get y'all some clips of Benson's birthday party and all of that. And that will be in tomorrow's video. But I hope you enjoyed today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.